it's a very exciting time to be a part of this research community when we see the uh, long hours in the lab get translated into uh, drugs that patients are now receiving. This translation of taking symptoms that patients have that affect their lives, going to the lab and really studying them, and then bringing it back to patients to really change the course of CF is incredibly exciting. About 20 years ago, Bill was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis. But it turns out Bill is one of 4% of cystic fibrosis patients whose disease is caused by a particular mutation in one gene. And a few years ago, the FDA fast-tracked a new drug target specifically targeting that mutation. It's really important now because I think we're at a tipping point in CF research. For the last 25 years, we've been working to try to understand how the gene defects are manifest by protein defects, and we're starting to see the fruits of those labors. Bill's now 27. When he was born, 27 was the median age of survival for a cystic fibrosis patient. Today, Bill is in his third year of medical school. the thing that gives me the most hope in all that's going on in CF research today is all of these drugs that are coming down the pipeline. We're already working on numerous other therapies to try to help individuals with cystic fibrosis. People are really excited to work together to find the next breakthrough. And so scientists are collaborating, clinicians are working with scientists, and patients are eager to participate in studies. We need to rethink how we're treating patients. We need to develop ways of treating them better, incorporating these types of therapies into the clinic. And we need to set our sights on new scientific goals and challenges to reach all patients with CF. One day, Bill will be able to tell his grandchildren about how he used the miracle of his own life to not only serve as an example, but also an inspiration and ultimately a pathway for his own career to help save the lives of other people. And that's the spirit of hope and resilience and community that's always carried America forward.